basically it was a client from uh, South Africa that has a software distribution business. They worked as a, a retailer for this very specific software um, that's used in construction. So basically they reset it and implement it with their clients. They engaged us for a company formation in the UK, which is not a complex process. If the corporate structure is simple, it is conducted majority online and you can have a company within the week. The registration of a company does not require courier of any documentation, which is uh, always helpful. We can conduct that process remotely. They don't even need to sign any um, incorporation forms when you compare, for example, with Australia or Singapore. Our agent will um, submit an application online to the company's registry website filing tool and the company is usually incorporated within the week. Realistically about a week, um, because the first few days you're going to exchange some due diligence with your project manager, Kili Consultants, and the next few days you're going to receive a company number. The process afterwards is you're going to receive um, like a security key on your registered address, which is basically our legal register address in the UK. And with that security key, you can register online for corporate tax. And afterwards, you can use um, the security key and the information already collected to apply for value added tax registration, VAT, if required by the client. Usually they fall in line with our due diligence compliance procedure. That would be a passport copy that is notarized by a notary public or cited by our officers, either in one of our offices or online through video call. A proof of address, which can be a utility bill on the client's signatories, directors, shareholders. And that utility bill should not be older than three months. And usually we ask for supporting documentation, depending on the risk level. And when I say risk, I mean compliance uh, risk. So for low compliance risk businesses, we just ask for simple documentation. For medium risk businesses, we would ask a little bit um, extended due diligence, including proof of income uh, and a background check. And when there is a high uh, risk. We, we have an extended checklist that goes with reference letters, bank statements, and so on. In majority cases, you're going to receive a tailored intelligence checklist based on your engagement letter, which is going to be um, discussed with your relationship officer and the appointed compliance officer. So we reach a, a mutually agreeable list um, that you can comply with.